The spring kicking off about a month from now won't be long before we see the monarch butterflies return to the Ozarks. But experts are concerned about the sharp decline in the butterfly population. Nick Kelly has more on the numbers and what we can do to help. Just like many birds in the Ozarks, many butterflies also fly south for the winter. The butterfly numbers, however, dropped off this winter season. Monarch Watch out of Kansas shows the total forest area occupied by monarchs is less than one hectare or 2.2 acres. We're near the low point. I think this is the second lowest total that's been observed in the 30, 30 some years that they've been doing this. The reason for the drop? Last fall's drought. Drier weather in September and October across Texas and Oklahoma forced plants to die off and starve migrating butterflies of nectar. With drought conditions improving in these areas and fluctuating numbers through the years, Barnhart thinks the numbers will bounce back. As long as we've got a reasonable number of monarchs coming back, it's, it's highly unlikely that they're going to wink out permanently. They're, they're not going to go extinct. While there's still optimism that the numbers can rebound over the next few years, we can do our part simply by making a stop at our local nursery. Milkweed's the number one. That's the host plant for the monarch butterfly. You, you cannot have monarchs without that plant. Gardeners say milkweed and plants like blazing stars and zinnias are easy sources of nectar for butterflies. From the end of this month all the way to uh, March, we'll be getting plants in all the time, and we'll still fill those orders in through the summer. Right on time for the monarchs and other butterflies to make their return to the Ozarks. Reporting for KY3, I'm Nick Kelly.